Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to dissect a little bit of this template. Now, we're not going to get into the nitty gritty, although if you want to, I am a big fan of that. But really, I just want to look at some of the components and mostly the page structure. In Wagtail, page structure is really important. It's the hierarchy. It's, you know, when you go to yourwebsite.com slash blog slash my first post, right? Blog is going to be a page. My first page or post is going to be a page. And this whole default page is going to be your home page. So we really have a hierarchy here and it's important to follow that hierarchy in Wagtail. And I think for your content uh, management team, or if it's just you as a content management team writing all of your own content, you know, this really makes it a lot easier to keep your website nice and simple. Basically, we're going to make sure that, you know, we're not going to have multiple blog pages, blog listing pages. We're not going to have multiple home pages. We're not going to have multiple contact pages. We only need one of these things and we need them to live in, an, in, in a specific place in our tree, in our Wagtail page hierarchy. So we're going to look at that. So first things first, uh, you know, let's, let's scan through this. What do we have? We've got a, a nav bar right up across the top. We have some sort of hero in here. Um, some people call it hero, header. Uh, so we have got a block in there. We've got a story block, and this is all on the home page, by the way, right? I click on home page. Here we are. Oh, yeah, in our header. So we've got a title, we've got an image, we have a subtitle or, or some intro text. We have call to action. What happens when you click this? Are we able to set the text in here? Uh, the story, this could be rich text, so we could add links and bold and things like that. Uh, my story, this should probably actually say blog. Um, and then we've got a list of blog posts with categories and the date they're posted and how long of a read they are. Then we've got projects. Uh, again, that's listing all the projects. And again, you know, we've got a title and we've got a, a quick little description of, of what that project is supposed to be. And we should be able to click into it and see a project. And then at the bottom of the page, we have our footer. So really, we have to break this down. And to do that, we need to look at another page. Let's look at the blog, right? The blog still has that same navigation, right? Exact same navigation, light mode, dark mode. It has that same footer, okay? If we go into uses, same, contact, same. All right, so now we're looking at some global components. When we look at, you know, our homepage, we could look at all the blog pages as well. So all the blog posts with some pagination in here, and then child pages, which would be like slash blog slash your page. And this is all sorts of rich text and a few stream fields, it looks like, and some share buttons. Then we have uses, and this kind of looks like a miscellaneous page where we can use this for pretty much really anything if we wanted to. This doesn't really look like it serves a specific purpose. And we could repurpose this page and, and the, the features that we'll add to it to really suit any need. Uh, and then we've got a contact page. Contact page, you know, what happens when you submit this form? How do we make it look like this? And, and there's some intricacies in here when it comes to Wagtail, which we're going to learn all about. Now, when we are looking at all of this, what we actually want to do is visualize this. So this is kind of what this project is going to look like. So we have our root page. And our root page is literally the you can't even actually see it, to be totally honest. A root page needs to exist in Wagtail for you to have any home page. And if you want to have another site, you could have a second home page or a third home page. So the root page, we do not need to worry about. It comes with Wagtail. The home page, well, that also comes with Wagtail. And I'll show you what I mean by that. If I go to localhost 8000 slash admin pages, we have a home page. All it has is a title though. So that's not really all that great. Uh, and then, um, we have you know, that contact page, right? So we have this home page and then we have slash contact. This is its own page. Slash blog is its own page. Slash uses is its own page. And for some reason, intro is in there and that just goes back to the home page as well, which could you know, be swapped out for a miscellaneous page. So when we look at this, we have one home page, we only ever need one. One contact page, we only ever need one. We have a miscellaneous page and there could be multiples of these. And they could have child pages. Unlike the contact page, there are no child pages. Uh, and then when we have, you know, the blog listing page, when we go over here, nope, that's not the right one. We'll click on blog. It just lists all of our blogs. So this is a page, very minimal content on it. All it's going to do is dynamically, automatically fill all this content in there. 
So we have a blog listing page. We only ever need one of those because we don't have multiple blogs on this site. And then we have blog detail pages. So we have my first post, my second post, my third post. Now the project listing page and the project detail pages are going to be very, very similar to your blog. And that's part of your project at the very end of this is to basically take everything we've learned in this course, which, you know, we will get there, don't worry, uh, and apply it to your project listing page and project detail pages. Lastly, we have some global stuff. We've got navigation, we have a footer, and we have a site logo and site name. So we have navigation, we have a footer, we have this name, and that matches this name here, and we also have a logo. All right, so that is our whole site. So when we look at it this way, it's not really all that much work. Root is taken care of, homepage already exists, we just need to add some content to it. We will only have one contact page, possible miscellaneous pages galore. We could have tons of them if we wanted to, but we only need to write the code once. One blog listing page and these blog detail pages have to live under here. So now we have a hierarchy where we're saying the blog detail page cannot live under the contact page. That makes no sense. And the blog detail page cannot live underneath the miscellaneous page. That makes no sense. By extension, we're also saying, you know, the home page cannot exist underneath a blog page because that's weird. It doesn't really exist on most websites. So we're just not gonna do that. And so that's what this looks like. So in the next lesson, what we're going to do is we're gonna do a little bit of base setup. So instead of writing the same navigation code and the same footer code and, and the, the way we center all the content right in the middle, instead of doing that on every single page, which we have to do on a static website, we're gonna do that once. And then we're gonna inject some, some extra information in there with uh, other pages, essentially. And if that doesn't make sense, please just hang on. It will make sense in a little bit. The most important thing to take away is we dissected this, this website. We kind of took a look at some of um, the requirements of this project at a very high level. We made a visual aspect or, or a visual graph, a site map, if you will, of what this is going to look like. And we can follow these rules. Now, if you want to go a little bit further, uh, this is honestly a fantastic way to, to operate. If you have uh, a certain field on your homepage, right? You know, maybe you have a subtitle field uh, and maybe you also have uh, an about me field, right? And then on your contact page, you have something and, and you know, your blog listing page, we have a subtitle on there as well. All that good stuff. Uh, you can do that in here as well. So I'm using octopus.do. It's free for one project, I believe. Uh, I just like it because it's nice and simple. I don't have to worry about learning a new technology. <laughs> so when you are ready, let's head on over to that next lesson. We're gonna get set up with our base project.